Bethlehem. Not a likely place for a messiah, is it? I forbid you to use that word ever again. Or to even think so from now on. I'm sorry, very sorry. I know I put my foot into it at the apothecaries. You put something bigger than your foot, my lad. I was referring to your second infantile mistake of telling Herod just when that star appeared. He knew instantly that we had been making calls on Parthia's friends. Rome will certainly hear about it, and so shall we. Well, we do seem to have drawn another blank. Those priests were just sending us on a fool's errand. Confound them and their blessed scriptures. Hadn't we better get moving? Right. There will be no newborn prince in this place. We can be sure of that. Can I get you something, dearie? What will it be? Something that can reach the past and nothing else can reach, my dear. You're a saucy one, aren't you, duck? Yes, turn to a turn. Had any new babies around here lately? No, young man. Don't you go insulting my girls like that. But I assure you, I meant no offense. It's a question you always ask. Isn't it, Melchior? You mustn't mind my young friend. He enjoys teasing. It's his way of saying he likes you. Oh, I can see that, dear. I'm sure as a matter of fact, we do have a little baby here. Oh, yes, he's been here for some time now. But she's nearly ready to travel again. So young she is. Hardly more than a child herself. Poor girl. Is there a father? Of course there is. You know that, don't you? Yes, there is. He must be twice her age, but he's good to her. Quiet, but ever so nice. Just passing through, were they? Oh no, they came here because of the census, because that old emperor in Rome ordered them to. You know about that, don't you? He wants to put tabs on us, does that bossy old devil. Take their names, then tax them hard. Once they have you in their books, they have you where they want you, unless you look out. That's what I say. No, they had no choice. It was their hard luck that they belonged to David's town. You see, they belonged to his tribe. Do they now? Oh, I remember the night the little one was born. Poor little mite. The place was jam packed. I couldn't turn her away though. She seemed like such a small thing. So young, like I once was. You said it was a boy? No, I didn't. But it is. Why? Oh, it's got to be a boy. Has it now? One day, somebody will pass laws about that sort of choosiness. Us girls get precious little except the blame. Pity somebody can't come along and change all that. What is his name? It's Jesus or Joshua. Same thing. I don't like the name Joshua and they'd be sure to call him Josh. So I told the mother to call him Jesus instead and she agrees with me. That means savior, deliverer. Does it now? I reckon with this sort of a start, he'll need both. Mind you, he had a funny sort of a start anyway. What a night. The whole sky was full of light, it was. You mean the light from this star, of course. It is bright, isn't it? Oh no, it is more than that. It was bright all over the sky. Some of the lads came in here earlier. I reckon they were scared, but Mary was really nice to them and took them to see her baby. Mary? That's his mother. Real big softies those shepherds were. They gave him presents, they did. Presents? Oh yes, a shepherd's pipe and a fleece rug. It must have cost a pretty penny. And those shepherds hardly being able to stand the price of a jug of wine. We have presents too. I think we may give Josh Jesus something of value. This child interests us. Do you have anything else you wish to communicate? If? He means to tell you. Oh, you mean tell you? But why don't you say what you mean? Yes, there was something. Joseph. Joseph? The father. Oh, silly of me. Of course, there must be a father. Otherwise, we would have no Jesus. <laughs> Please go on. You were saying? Well, Joseph said that after they took him to the synagogue. Oh dear, more pain. Be quiet. Joseph said that after they had him done, an old fellow took him in his arms and prophesied. Said he'd be a great man. Great? How great? He said he'd save Israel, no less. All the prophecies and the signs. May we go up and see this child? No, you may not. But you can go downstairs if you like. He's in the stable. Oh. It's lovely and clean. I have slept in worse places. So I can imagine. Balthasar, the gifts. I shall present the gold. 
and you, Melchior, will present the frankincense. Aren't you giving him something? I have nothing to give. Oh, now you wait a minute, dear. I can get you a present for him. <coughs> Go on, girl, that alabaster box on the window table. Go get it. Hurry up. It's quite valuable, you know, but not to me, not anymore. It's full of mom. You can use it for medicine or cosmetics. Well, I'm too healthy to need it. I'm too ugly. Oh, yes, I am. I'm ugly inside as well as out. So give it to his mom. She likes the view give her the present. I doubt she'll ever need it, but it's a really nice box. And it's a thought that counts. Well, come downstairs then. Don't look so worried. I haven't invited you upstairs, have I? Thank <laughs> you.